When I started working on robotics about 10 years ago, I asked a lot of people, you know, what's the hardest control problem you know of? And back then, the most common answer I heard was getting a computer to fly a helicopter. So I said, let's work, let's work on that. Um, and our helicopter over here is instrumented with uh, GPS accelerometers and a compass, and so it always knows where it is. It turns out flying helicopters is pretty difficult. Uh, if you're ever in a helicopter and you're watching the pilot, the pilot is holding one joystick in each hand, one control stick in each hand, and each foot is on a different foot pedal, and they're actually always moving you know, both hands and both feet to try to keep the helicopter balanced. So for a computer, the problem is 10 times a second, you're told where the helicopter is, and you need to figure out how to move all these control sticks to keep the helicopter over the air. Um, when I first got my hands on a helicopter, the first thing I thought was, you know what, I know math, let's just write out a mathematical specification for how helicopters behave, and we'll program the math specification into a computer, and, we'll, and then the computer will know how to fly the helicopter that way. Um, turns out I had a friend who had taken that approach. Let me play a video that I got from him. When I play this video, you hear David's voice say, enable control, and that's when his program takes over this helicopter. Oops, excuse me. There. Enable control! Enable. Uh, about, about, about. So... <laughs> <laughs> so there's him shouting, abort, abort. Um, so when I saw this, what I realized is that helicopters are just too complicated and their aerodynamics are just too complicated. No one can sit down and just write out a mathematical specification for how to fly a helicopter. Um, instead, what I realized is that a much better way to try to do this is to let a computer learn by itself how to fly a helicopter. So what you do is you give the, give the computer access to a, to, to a helicopter and let it try out different things on the helicopter and try out different strategies for flying it and see what happens and learn from his own experiences, much like a beginner pilot might, to figure out how to fly a helicopter. Um, this is also maybe not unlike how you may have learned to ride a bicycle, trying out different things until after a while you get it. So researchers call this technique machine learning. And using this method, we've been able to not only get the helicopter to fly around, but also get it to fly many, different, many interesting aerobatic stunt maneuvers. Um, let me show you just one video of one of the aerobatic stunt maneuvers that we flew on this helicopter. This is a video that we made on the Stanford football field. It's flying under computer control. And when we zoom out the camera, you see the trees plant in the sky. So, among being able to fly upside down, the first helicopter in the world able to do so under computer control, um, we, our helicopters can now fly, uh, diff fly maneuvers and stunt maneuvers at a skill level comparable to the very best human pilots in the world.